Hey guys, Chris here. I've been working on my garden solar pond number two, and I ordered the bilge pump and all that. And you know, kind of scratching my head how I'm going to power this thing up and run wires. And so I drew up a little sketch here of what it's going to look like. You can pause and take a look at it. I'm going to run 12-2 landscaping wire over to it, bury it to the solar generator there. And what I did tonight, give me a second, I'll pan over to it, is I took my Trojan 31 AGM overdrive battery out of my other solar generator and put it on this backyard garden one. This thing is a beast. It's got some deep cycle power to it. Put it in a battery box, some pavers underneath there for stability. I'm using uh, 10 AWG THHN ROHS wire. That I had laying around with some uh, tinned battery lug ends and also tin the ends going into the solar charge controller I'll show you here in a second. It just disconnected the batteries that are in there. That's my meter for the solar panels. Tin those ends going into the solar charger and I'm also using a 30 amp ATC fuse for the battery. And that switch right there is for my solar panel so I can do maintenance. So I don't have to disconnect wires up there. Just turn the switch off. So what I'm looking, I'm, not, I'm just putting the cover back on. It's, it's an AGM battery. It's not going to gas. I got vents in there too just for added safety and stuff. But I'm looking at about, with both bilge pumps running, just under 5 amp draw. So that should take the battery down to about like an 82% state of charge overnight and start recharging with the solar panels in the morning. So, all right, guys, hey, thanks for watching. So, as always, subscribe and also check out the Alt E store for any renewable energy things that you might need or give them a call with questions. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya.